A good morning for me doesn't start with a morning alarm. In fact, for any homemaker, a good morning starts with the night before. With kids being 24 hours at home due to summer break and deadly heat outside, nights play a very significant role in planning my mornings properly. I have created a routine which is very much practical and doable without much hassles. After dinner, I start preparations for my next morning. As nowadays, there are no bags setting up in the night, so I utilize this time to do some pre-preps. Once the kitchen is all set for next morning, I keep some assignments ready for Nandini for next day. This helps her to cover up the important topics or methods she found to be challenging during her last term. Keeping it ready in the night refrains me from being guilty of letting her miss out on her studies during the vacations. Next few minutes goes into making my to-do list and prioritizing this list. Instead of starting my chores randomly and later on regretting missing something important, this to-do list helps me work in a proper direction and keeps my mind in an autopilot mode. My main aim is to sail through the morning rush hours like a breeze, especially nowadays when all the old routines have gone for a toss. And as I said goodnight to my home, it greeted me with a happy morning next day. Once the kids are in the bed, I start the preparations if I have to soak something or chop something. I give my husband 2-3 tiffins for the whole day as he has severe acidity issues so he cannot stay hungry for very long time and doesn't prefer eating outside food unless traveling. Trying to balance everything with his food preferences and kids demand takes some time to execute. Breakfasts are mostly the things which he eats in the evenings, so I prefer to make one thing which we all can eat at our preferred timings. Lunch for all of us is common. Planning the crazy morning hours ensures me to have the opportunity of utilizing the rest of the day in best way possible. Today I gave him three tiffins which included chana chaat, aloo patties 
एंड पत्ता गोभी मटर चपाती रोल A thing as simple as serving food to your family can be an accomplishment in itself on some days. There are always two choices we have every day. We can either choose to sit and complain or appreciate what we have and move ahead. Today's breakfast which is aloo patty reminded me of my childhood days when my father used to bring hot aloo patties while coming back from office isn't it great how one can connect memories through just food so what is your best food memory of your childhood Many times many of my days doesn't go as per my plan Those are the days when I keep reminding myself whole day it's okay to have a bad day It's okay to make mistakes It's okay to set back but that is not a failure It's okay to take a break nothing is perfect Never demoralize yourself keep yourself as your priority always motivate yourself and be your biggest supporter throughout the day there are many small moments which will make big big memories for my kids nowadays it's around 7:30 that they both are up and after that non stop chitter chatter is in the house then my house becomes a home i'm going to miss this time once the school will reopen actually i look forward for the holidays more than my kids getting into their little arms and having a pat on my forehead is the most peaceful thing to experience and i cannot let that go but to make the most of it happiness is a habit we should cultivate it what do you say workouts were on my to do list from pretty long time it's been only a while i've started working out but i can feel the difference in my energy levels up to great extent we all have breakfast after taking shower only it helps a lot in maintaining a routine without routines i really freak out at times
cleaning of the house is done in the evening hours. Nowadays, I'm vacuuming every day. Dusting and mopping is done alternate days. And laundry is something which is never ever ending. This is the time when I consider everything is done for the morning and it's time for me to relax. This is the time usually when I do all the brainless jobs, basically things which needs to be done but do not need attention. Good music always helps in keeping the momentum of work. I'll see you with my next one soon. Till then, bye-bye.